Hafez Haim writes a letter to his son that he's getting older. And just like, and just like in the physical world, the sons support the father, so too in the spiritual world, in the spiritual aspects. Right now, Kibi Achol was learning X amount like this as much as well. His, his weakness was ebbing. His old age was taking a toll a little bit on him. And his spirituality level of his learning was... So therefore, he's telling his son, make sure right now you learn extra Torah for me as well. While the Havet Sayyid was still alive, he was telling him that. And I read it to you word for word. Lefichach avakesh mimcha, the Havet Sayyid says, and therefore I ask from you, my dear son, Beni Yekari, my dear son, Habibi. Hayot Bani Zakandi. Since I became older, Hafez Sahim says, I don't have that strength as was once upon a time. I'm begging you. To my help. Learn more than you used to. So you can make me as well. It's without that you learn. Yeah, the Havet Saim lived. When we're older, we're thinking, oh yeah, son, get me this, get me that. What about the spirituality? Havet Saim, this is in his old age. What's the lesson over here? We have to learn, we have to understand when now, now is the time. Don't wait until your old age and you can't uh, hardly pick up a go to shul or this or that when you're very, very old. Forget that, forget that, forget that. Now, when you still have the energy, plug, pump, 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 do another message, do another message, do another message, do another gemara. You should know one time I read in the Sefer, it used to be about three, four hundred years ago, it used to be that the, the, the people would say, this is my olam abam mesechet. He says, what are you doing? He says, I, I, I learned, I learned this gemara, that gemara, that gemara, he learned the whole shas. But he took a gemara and he said, this I'm going to be an expert in. And this I'm going to know inside out, everything, da, 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 da. Then when I go to Shamaim, I know this is my Olam Abba Mesechet. I'm going to take this with me. I know it like this. Da, 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 da. Of course, besides the whole Shas. Besides the whole Shas. You should know the whole Shas as well. But what do you know? Every single word, every single dot. This rabbi and that rabbi and that rabbi. They came to the Gaon Mevona. And they told the Gaon. They, one time, one, two people were saying, Oh, you know, this rabbi knows the whole entire Torah like inside and out. So he's like, oh, like the Gomer Vilna. Yeah, like, yeah, like the Gomer Vilna. This is impossible, like the Gomer Vilna. So his friend said, what do you mean? I'm telling you that this rabbi knows the whole entire Torah. Crazy. What, do you, what does that mean? Not, not like the Gomer He knows it, everything. He says, look, if I were to tell you to say Ashe, could you say Ashe? Yeah, you could say Ashe by heart. Say it by Ashe by heart. Ashe, 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 he says, the Gaon Mevona can tell you the whole, the whole Torah backwards as well. He can repeat the whole Torah backwards. Yeah. Halavai, we get one Mesechet uh, done and know it. You know what I'm saying? He's already uh, finished it. Uh, we know the Mesechet. You understand what's going on over here? You know what's going on? We have to learn from the letter of the Havet Saim. He lived in this world for one purpose, one purpose only. His spirituality. Now, I'm not telling you, don't take care of your physical. Of course you have to eat. Of course you have to sleep. Of course you have to do all these things. But what I am telling you to do is channel the physical to the spiritual.